Welcome to All Things Agile. I'm Petula, your host. And today we'll be covering an interesting question. Is Agile changing? What do you think? So the answer is both yes and no. Agile is not changing, not fundamentally anyway, but in its expressions and the names and the tools and the frameworks that come around, Yes, in that sense, it is evolving. But to understand that better, let me take a step back and bring you to the innovation curve, which is something not new, it's from the 60s. And it looks like this. Whenever an idea, a technology starts, there is always the people who invented it or those who are searching for new ways, the innovators. This is a tiny group of people and they start the next curve or wave of knowledge. Then you have the famous early adopters, which is also not a big group, and those are enthusiasts and people who usually are keen to experimenting and discovering new things, even if they were not necessarily looking for any new solution here. They are just excited with new stuff and like to try things. At some point, when ideas are great, they get established. That's when we have majorities. So at some point, most people have adopted it. Except for the laggards, the last group of people, like the name says, usually resistors or people that now have no choice but to accept the technology or idea because it's just everywhere. It might have become the new normal and it is maybe even imposed on them. So now if you go back to the question, is Agile changing? Think of it. The Agile Manifesto came out in 2001. Agile frameworks and tools have been tried out there since the mid 1990s. So we're talking here about what some 25 years or more of ideas and experimentation out in the way. So yes, evolution is more than normal in those circumstances. If we look at this picture, one of my favorites to explain what agile is, you notice on the far right, all the names that you hear people saying. Scrum, pair programming, Kanban, TDD, you name it. Those techniques arrived from the experimentation those early uh, software development teams used. They are still pretty powerful today, but they are not what Agile is, although it is how it started. Today, you can pick and choose techniques and even invent one of your own. Why not? Those were once invented as well. Agile itself, it's a mindset on the far left. As an example, a company might be having a hard time establishing small autonomous teams. Maybe that company even tried Scrum without much success. You could look at the possibility that this company is having a hard time with the principles of self-organization in motivated individuals. And it's also possible, derived from that, that the value of individuals and interactions is actually not yet well anchored in the company culture itself. It is at least a distinct possibility. We went from a time where enthusiasts were applying agile and lean in software development companies, and we entered the moment of now where everybody wants a piece and everybody wants to be agile, whatever they understand by that. Uh, before people would say it's a fad, but now even the most bureaucratic, slow to learn companies, those full of hierarchy and um, rigid processes, even those want to be agile. But given the time and the learning collected on 20 plus years, agile itself is emerging in unexpectedly agile way we don't contradict the original values and principles, quite the contrary, if you really think. They are the only thing that really remains almost intact, but they did get more sophisticated in their expression and they went beyond what now seem to be the first primitive tools of Agile. Pretty much if you think about how humanity used to roll rocks and then have chariots and now cars. So Agility now talks about outcome first, enabling people, creating trust, safe space and motivation, uh, purpose, customer centricity. We are past the stage of having to advocate for 
quality as a forethought and not an afterthought. Um, we are past the stage of having to advocate for cross-functional teams. These things are a given now, I would say, um, as we push towards what we could be considering Agile 2.0. So does that mean that we throw out everything that we know from Agile 20 years ago? I would think that's a little bit extreme and those tools, many of them are still super useful to this day. But I would say for the companies that really want to catch up, they are literally catching up on 20 years of learning curve. And they do have to make a much bigger leap because they have a whole mindset and behaviors that they have yet to adopt. So it is only natural that it's harder for them right now. It's a much harsher scenario. It is also, um, it demands from the coaches a lot more skill because you are trying to help people understand in a nutshell, in the flash, uh, what took some other people 20 plus, or at least some 10 years, let's say, when they started using Agile and learning along the way. So what we can do now as Agile leaders in companies is rather simple. One, helping them establish mechanisms where we talk about value and where we talk about dealing with um, outcome first talking about the why behind things, learning from experimentation and from failure gracefully, really focusing on their customers and what's really important for them, and ultimately how to prepare them to have rather autonomous teams because given a good why and a good environment, people can kind of figure out the how. And yes, you can, and it's very welcome, the use of a coach so that the teams can run a little faster. But that doesn't mean that you get a consulting company just coming in and imposing the framework of the moment. So Agile is evolving and the Agile leader of now kind of needs to get very comfortable with this um, Agile 2.0, if you will, is looking like. I go a little bit deeper in the blog post if you want to continue on the topic. So the link is in the description down below or better yet, just make sure to join our mailing list where I share with you content that is exclusive to us. I'll stop here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.